Hello, my name's Grace. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be telling you the five people you will see when you go to a bookstore. You did not notice this before. No need to fear. I'm here to tell you the kinds of people at the bookstore that you need to look out for. Better yet, maybe you're one of these people. Make sure you pay attention. Let's get to it. And number one, we have the person who's just passing time, wandering the aisles, not really looking for anything. And this person will be picking off books on the shelf, like skimming pages when they're actually reading them, and putting it back in the wrong place. Number two, we have the refugee. The person who just came inside the bookstore to sit in one of the lounge chairs and drink their coffee from a different cafe than the cafe inside the bookstore, if you know what I mean. This person also comes into the bookstore just to use the bathroom as well. I mean, come on! At least, like, buy something from the cafe inside the bookstore and then go use the bookstore bathroom. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this, where people have just literally come inside through the door, walk past the cashier, and then just go use the bathroom, and then walk past the cashier again, and then go outside. We have the adorables. Those are the people, the little tiny tiny children that are waiting for their parents to buy something in the bookstore while they're looking at picture books in the aisles. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Booktuber. If you are in a vicinity of a booktuber, you will most likely receive book advice. If you are looking at a book that they have either loved or have read, you are going to get book advice from them because booktubers are just such book lovers and book nerds. OMG, OMG, OMG! I loved this book. Basically, it's about a girl and she falls in love with the wrong guy. And like they're in this super cold village and it's super cold winter and she finds something cool for her like ancestors in the forest and it's so good and so cool and I, I received it from the publisher and I got oh my god he put it back backwards <gasps> look, 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 Booktubers will also be vlogging their experience as well. I know I have vlogged at bookstores before and I have seen plenty of people duck out of my like camera view and they have gotten pretty annoyed by that. So that 
leads us into our next category, which is the bookstagrammer. Now, the bookstagrammer is known for taking artsy pictures wherever they go. Lots of bookstagrammers like to take book pictures in bookstores. I have seen plenty of pictures where people are like sitting against the bookshelf, leaning against them and like reading, and they're all artsy and they're all like pretty and everything. And there are plenty of pictures where like people are taking books out and going like, ah! That can also be kind of annoying for people who are not aware of the book community and how big it is and how many people are involved in it. Normal people who are just looking for like a book to read or a chair to sit on or a bathroom to go use and then go outside are not going to like it when you are blocking the aisle and your photographer is going <laughs> That's it! This is great! This is amazing! Whoa, the viewers are gonna love this! Everyone's gonna want your pictures! What a model! Make sure to watch the extras from this video that are deleted scenes on my vlog channel. It'll be linked down below. It'll go check it out. Lots of fun. Deleted scenes. It'll make you feel special that you're watching deleted scenes, I promise. I hope you liked this video. Tell me if you agree with any of the people that I mentioned. Tell me if you are any of the people that I mentioned. I can definitely fall into the last two categories of booktuber and bookstagrammer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like it even more, please subscribe to my channel. My name's Grace. I'll see you in another video. Bye!